Hey guys, it's Gamer 360 welcome back to the uh, walkthrough of Crash Titans. Well, not really this, not really too much of a part of the walkthrough. It's the, uh, it is basically the, uh, the finale video. There's not really a level I'm doing in this. And there was this intro I was gonna show off at the beginning of it. I forgot to show it off at the beginning of the walkthrough. Outside, you know what the uh, finale video is the. You know, most appropriate video to show it, and if it's not the first one of any other video, this one is probably the best one to show it in. You know. Okay, here we go. Okay, now that was actually pretty cool right there. I kind of like that intro. Anyways, uh, there's not really too much to show off. I actually changed my mind on the art concept. I mean, the concept arts, because when I first tried it, uh, which was a few hours ago, uh, before that, I mean, after that, uh, I went out, uh, because, uh, like I said before, uh, what was it? oh yeah, it's my dad's birthday today, so yeah, we went out for dinner, and there you go. You know, it's my dad's birthday, so yep. There you go. But anyways, so, uh, it's like we went out for dinner and you know, we went to a bonfire, and yeah, it's pretty good. But yeah, there's not too much to show off. I mean, I guess I can show off one of the concept arts. I'll show off one of them. But just one, all right. Sorry, I didn't really want to show that off. I mean, I did in the first place, but it make the video take over half an hour, or better yet, over 45 minutes, or yet a few more seconds, more than 36 minutes. It's 36 minutes and 22 seconds, I think. I don't want to do the uh, information thing of the enemies. Actually, I actually I think I should do that. It doesn't take as long as the other things. Yeah, that's what they're like. It's kind of like the ones in Pac-Man World 2. Only based on stuff in Crash games, not real. What? Oh, there's even information for the- Okay, I know, I'm not gonna show off the information. Basically, basically you go into the Mojo Room. Wait, hold on, you saw it in that one video, never mind. When I accidentally skipped the Mojo Room, so I just went ahead and... Went to the other one and showed it off. Alright, I did show off all the Mojo Rooms. I showed off Todd to get all the, uh... All the voodoo doll things except for the one in level 10, level 17, and level 20 because I happened to skip it without notice because I was too focused on the game that I forgot about that. I mean, at least I shut off most of them. At least it's not, well, you know. And also the one for the, uh, uh, I don't remember which all is. I think it was this one. Oh, uh, you didn't see me get it, but I did actually get it in the level. This is not the file I use for this. Is my number one file. I just started back like in 2014 or something like that. I mean, it's at least a time like that or later because I got this back in 2014. I've owned this for almost three years and a half and it still works perfect. The only thing that's been changing is the amount of, I mean, not the amount, the uh, controllers that I have with me. Like, first I started off a, a black controller with a black D pad and. Uh, uh, okay, what did I say? I started out with a black controller with a black uh, truck shell pad, a black right thumbstick, and a black left thumbstick. Even a black thing on the bottom of it, like that thing that's gray on most controllers, like the green one. Like, that is black instead. I'm 
block battery pack. And yeah. I remember my whole history of like all the video game controllers because I can keep track of much of that. All I remember for sure is that I started off with that one. Like you actually get that with the Xbox 360 itself. Which does make sense because the reflection uh, guide button which matches the uh, in, the uh, in, the thing on the Xbox 60. Basically it does kind of look like it only about the Xbox X. You know? That and it has the uh, in, and it shows the uh, in, like the uh, like it shows the uh, the color things, you know, like on the corners, like like for the player one controller synced in, then it has like you know the bright thing on the top left, and then there's one for the top right for the player two controller, and then the bottom right is for the player uh, oh no not bottom right excuse me bottom left is the player three controller, and again now the bottom right one which is the player four controller, you know. And like they're all connected and then it would just go all the way around the thing, you know? And yeah. Okay, anyways, uh, at least I'll talk about that. But anyways, uh, it's basically... What was it? Oh, yeah, there's not just pretty much I want to show off because doing the concept parts and the, uh, you know... And the information of the, uh, the jackable enemies and the, uh, normal... I'll just say minions. Well, the minion enemies. I'll just say that uh, it would take too long to show off the all the concept parts. Yeah, I'll, I'll just show off one of the. Uh, the rat mission. These one of these little guys yeah. were created by up. Uka yeah. Uka's mojo and Cortex's yeah. science. Luckily for us, they're as fragile as they look. Oh, I could wail into these nerds all day. Yeah, Mr. White. Yeah, science. When he said science, that got me thinking about, uh, about that thing, which I heard from some video. It was one of those, it was one of those videos with the, uh, from Movie Mistakes Studios, from, like, uh, like it was one of the, uh, videos with the mistakes of a movie, you know? And then I remember, uh, them saying something about... About like it's time for an Easter egg, and then all of a sudden they show that thing uh, where that guy is like, "Yeah, Mr. White, yes, science." Like, like they show that part, and all of a sudden they go back to the thing. Like, just shows a bunch of mistakes in the movie, and then one of our cameos they realize, you know, a few seconds before the mistake, then yeah, they just go ahead and say it. Like the one in Toy Story with the mistake of uh, Buzz's wings way too wide, and they wouldn't be able to fit for the race car track thing. I don't even know why that was possible. Like whenever I, like when I watched that movie before, I don't really watch it that much now. I mean I have, you know, but just not as much as I did before. That always kind of weirded me out, along with the one with the the bolt fixture because normally the uh, the bolt fixture is bigger than the hole, and they shouldn't have been able to remove it the way they did. I mean I suppose it was you know it was the easiest way to figure out how they did that. So yeah, they purposely made the mistake. See how sometimes they purposely make mistakes just to just to keep the MPA rating or something like that. Something like that. Okay, anyway, so let's continue talking about the game, not movie mistakes. Just because of one thing. So yeah, there's not really too much to talk about. Oh, I have no. Uh, I mean, not. I, have no, I, uh, I actually meant to say I know I should talk about it now. Okay, actually, I don't need to run to there. Actually, I'll just go ahead and go into one of those just in case, so it doesn't take me to the title screen there, yeah. Okay, it's kind of strange. If I need to pick the storage device right there, then, you know, why did I need to right there? I mean, I just, you know, just make sure to show the intro. Okay, want I show the achievements off. No, not for that third one right there. I've been trying to delete the achievements for that, and it's literally impossible. Which is pretty stupid, and there's two different ways. It's one is that if you don't play the game anymore, then that means you should just go ahead and delete the rewards or whatever the achievements, you know. So you can, you know, whatever it is. Oh, they've uh, figured out what I mean, uh, they've shown us what we need to do. Okay, Jack Five, a very type of Jackable creature. 
basically that's com uh, uh, the easiest way to do that is uh, complete each file you know not 100% complete you know but you know you play co-op mode that's basically playing two people in the game I should try to figure out uh, how I can do that so, like maybe I can play the game for my dad sometime because you know we do play games a lot in fact he's the only person that's really played a game for me I mean, my brother has played Gatesby, but not as much as my dad. Obviously, you know, you know how guys are, you know, they like video games. So yeah, obviously you can tell them. What is it? Oh yeah, I, I, my mom didn't really play video games with me. The only thing she's actually played with me, which was actually a long time ago, which is Wii Sports and, you know, Wii Special Games. You know, like where they had the... You know, like in Wii Sports, where there's bowling and all that. Okay, I right. earn gold for all uh, episodes on medium. Wow. Earn gold for all episodes on easy, and complete all episodes on hard. Complete one third of the game. This is a secret achievement. Unlock more, uh, it to find out more. About really. I mean, go for more of the game to find out about it. Not unlock it, though. I guess, yeah. You know, unlock uh, the information on how you get it. Okay, unlock all the creature costume skins. That one shouldn't be too hard. That should be a piece of cake. And then if you have a certain amount of enemies in a level, like example, this one, uh, I. Oh, wait, no, 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 not that one. Okay, why don't I just go from the start? Example this one, you know, uh, you know this might, you know, I just have fun. Okay, Jack Fruity Gores, or like Jack Fruity Whores. Only problem I don't like is they don't, uh, uh, is that they don't show you how many you've actually jacked. That would have been nice. However, I got the Halloween skin. I have to say the outfits are not that good, you know. It's kind of like Blinks the Time Sweeper, you know, where they're not as good, you know, as Blinks' original look. That and also, uh, you know, Crush Change of Bracing. I'd probably, you know, talk about it. Kind of both, actually, you know. Mostly I'm talking about uh, Blinks the Time Sweeper. Like, you know, he looks good enough already in his outfit. Gee, the way the clothes are too expensive unless you play Platinum Mets, but you know, if you play Platinum Mets, then some odds are completely different. I mean, it seems like they, uh, you know, like for the normal one and the Platinum Hits one, it's, you know, there's not really that much of a difference. Except for Blink's Time Super, that's the only game that, you know, does that. You know, I stuck at that, uh, with that one ever since, you know, like for a long time. And as soon as I watched this one channel, Zeo Lightning, like as soon as I watched his Let's Play that game, I was like, why are some of the things different? And then maybe I figured it out, and there you go. Uh, and then, like, I, I tried to see if it was the, uh, playing on the. Oh, well, like, use, like, played the normal Xbox One, not the Platinum Mets one, and then, there you go, that's how I figured it out. And it was kind of weird, because I was only, like, 11 years old, and, you know, I didn't, you know, I wasn't completely that smart with video games back then. I mean, I was kind of smart with video games back then, you know, because, you know, I was 11 years old, you know, not, like, 7 or something like that. Well, of course I wasn't. Because if I'm about to be 60 now, how uh, would have been seven five years ago? Of course, that's not possible. In fact, that would have been half my brother's age at that time. Because my brother was 14 when I was 11. I mean, he turned 14 before I turned 11, but still, he's and not even three years and a half older than me. But yeah. Doodoodal. Okay, yeah, you get it. Okay, come on, where's some other ones? Oh, here it is. Wait, hold on. What? Oh, defeat 200 voodoo bunnies, and I believe you unlock the outfit for them. I mean, I haven't seen what the reward is. I've never seen what the reward is, but yeah, I believe that's what it is. Okay, what? Oh, brat girl, I get it. Hey, brat, that's kind of funny. Kind of reminds me of 
Why is it? Oh yeah, the name of the uh, of the villain in the new movie, Despicable Me Free. Balthazar Brat. I remember that one. He's funny, and he's probably my favorite out of all three of the. Or even if you include the one from the Minions movie. Well, obviously, I didn't like Scarlet Overkill that much. She was kind of weird. I mean, she was famous and all that, and then, you know, like mo most movies where the villain is good to start out with and all of a sudden they become evil. At least, yeah, that's one of them. Along with the second movie from that series and all that. I mean, most villains do that, where they are good to start out with and then all of a sudden become, ex you know, uh, become evil. Especially when it comes to, you know, just having a better life. You know. And they're doing something wrong out of it, and then there you go, the hero. The, or well, basically the main hero and his crew stop him. Or her. Because, you know, not all villain characters are, you know, are boy characters. There are some female villains. Like the one I just talked about. Minions movie. Wait, why are there... Oh, this is my... Uh, First, I kind of, kind of lost track of that. I forgot that uh, this is not the file I just completed. So I was like, "How come some of them just randomly turned golden without me getting it?" Okay. Anyways, uh, see, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and roll for the credits. See so if you guys can just watch this. I'll uh, turn off the microphone. You guys watch this. There you go. So you don't be distracted while you're trying to read. Okay. I'll turn it back on when I'm done with it. The credits. So, yep. see you in a few minutes.
Okay, I'll be back. I sorry about that. took a few more seconds because I was like throwing away a wrapper. I'm just chewing on some bubblegum. Anyways, I alright, I right, So basically that's it for this walkthrough. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Like and subscribe. If you want to so, uh, and yep. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. See you guys for the next one, which will quite possibly be uh, maybe Pac-Man Fever. Maybe I might do something before it. And remember when I, when I started doing this, uh, doing this walkthrough, I was nervous thinking that it would actually take a while, but all of a sudden, it's like so quick. You know, it didn't even take like you know half a week. I guess I did take a lot less than half, although I only did four videos on the day I started it back on Thursday the 21st. Or should I say this sort of autumn? The season. Started this season autumn. Yeah. Or another thing is, started this season that has my birthday in it. And also my dad's birthday. Speaking of my birthday, it's also. Coming up in, uh, how many days? Uh, 40 days. I just remember I, uh, said something about that earlier today. You know, not in one of my videos, but, you know, but just, you know, normally said it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. So, I'll see you for the next one, which I believe might be Pac Man Fever. I redo of it, just because, you know, I want to actually. I. Uh, you know. Have different characters for each board. Which, unfortunately, if I'm going to do that, then I have to have at least one board of Pac Man and Miss Pac Man. And thanks to that, I'll. You know. I'll need to have someone play as. Pac-Man or Miss Pac-Man, you know, I don't want to be one of those two because I've used enough Pac-Man in Pac-Man World 1, 2, and 3. Or should I just call them the Pac-Man World games? And then there's Miss Pac-Man, who is a total slut, who has caused a lot, a lot of trouble to pass, especially in that one board game in the afternoon, my first day of school from last year, and, yeah, and then she was causing so much trouble, all the tiger helping out, and just, yeah, they are just being total jerks, and I was just, you know, I got pissed off, I got, it was just extremely maddening, and I just got, you know, you know, I got aggravated way too much to the point where I cried, literally, you know, it made me sad, because, you know, because they were just completely ganging up on me and just, you know, not fair. I mean, at least it wasn't all free players, but, you know. But it was most of them, you know. Two out of three of them ganging up on me and one uh, board game and one, you know, you know, full part of it, then, yeah, that's what, that's what really upsets me. That's what happened. It basically, it, it caused me to get, uh, to get mad enough to point where it, to the point where I got upset, literally. I got so upset after that, after that one send back, like I got sent back by Tiger by a store screen. I was just getting so mad and I started to get upset and then I shot off the game. And it really pissed me off when I didn't get the auto save function. So, you know, because if I had that, then yeah, it wouldn't have been, you know, as bad as it already was. I mean, it would have been brutal with the CPUs just trying to send me back, but, you know, but it would have been. Well, not would have been. I wouldn't have been that bad if those auto save. I don't even know what the queers are thinking. I don't even know why they'd be so easily fooled thinking that uh, people who, are, who play the who play that game would be okay without auto save. I mean, either way, if you know if it's someone who's doing a you know a board play through, then yeah, it doesn't matter because it wouldn't use the auto save. Like if Sun Curry was doing that, like he basically just keeps playing and playing and playing. Like he doesn't take like a week break or something like that. From a board game, like he just keeps playing it until you know. I mean, he does take a break to the next board, but you know, but for a specific board game, he doesn't wait on it. But anyways, enough of that rant. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. It's the third time I've that for the fourth time, 
And I'll show you guys for the next one, which will quite possibly might redo a Pac-Man fever. For the sentimental reasons. Oh yeah, and there'll also be no commentary in the board I uh, if I do that I built the pack people on. I right, almost forgot to mention I was also gonna uh, Wait, did I, did I say it? Because I didn't say it, I remember I said I think I probably said, but probably also did say, uh, that I was gonna have my dad in there. In, in the board playthrough because, you know, because the only way I can do that board without, you know, with having both pack people and without using one of them, you know, like the only way I can do that is if I have someone else playing with me. Because, because anyone else that played games with does not know that game well. My dad is like the only one who knows, the only one, only person that played games with that knows that game well. The only thing he has to be used to is playing as uh, Pac-Man. Which I've been training him on how to do that because, you know, as soon as that comes in, yeah, you'll have to play as Pac-Man. And that's how you should play as Pac-Man, because obviously I'm not going to let him reward Miss Pac-Man for beating me up all the time. Okay, enough of that rant. Uh, see you in the next Let's Play. Bye. Sorry about the long run. You guys don't care, then that's fine. Just don't even uh, listen to us.